The M982 Excalibur is a 155mm extended range guided artillery shell developed by Raytheon Missile Systems and BAE Systems AB. It is a GPS guided munition capable of being used in close support situations within 150 Euro 75 meters of friendly troops. The United States plans to procure 7,474 rounds at a FY 2015 program cost of $1,934.1 million. As of September 2015, nearly 770 Excalibur shells had been fired in combat. Description Excalibur was developed as a longer-ranged alternative to conventional artillery shells, with GPS guidance for improved accuracy. Excalibur has a range of approximately 40 to 57 kilometers depending on configuration, with a circular area probable of around 5 meters to 20 meters. The extended range is achieved through the use of folding glide fins, which allow the projectile to glide from the top of a ballistic arc towards the target. The munition was co-developed by United States-based Raytheon Missile Systems and the Swedish BAE Systems Bofors. Excalibur is used to minimize collateral damage, for targets beyond the range of standard munitions, for precise firing within 150 meters of friendly troops, or when firing in a straight line from the launching cannon is limited by terrain. Initial combat experience with Excalibur in Iraq in the summer of 2007 was highly successful with 92% of rounds falling within 4 meters of the target. Its performance was so impressive that the U.S. Army planned to increase production to 150 rounds per month from the previous 18 rounds per month. In 2012, Excalibur rounds reached new record ranges in combat of 36 kilometers. Guns that Excalibur is compatible with are the British AS-90 SPG, Swedish Archer Artillery System, South African G6 Howitzer, United States M198, M777 lightweight and M109A6 Paladin self-propelled 155mm howitzers, and the German Panzer Horbitz 2000. Equals variants equals, there are three versions of the system. Initial development effort was towards increment I. Milestone C decisions will be made on increment 2 and 3 in FY 2013 with a demonstration of those capabilities by 2020. Increment I has a unitary penetrating warhead for use against stationary targets. Increment Year 1, Accelerated Development, Reduced Range Round. Entered service in 2007. Increment Year 2, Extended Range Round with Resistance to GPS Jamming. Increment IB, Full Capability, Reduced Cost, Mass Production Round. Excalibur S, in June 2013. Raytheon initiated an internally funded program to upgrade the Excalibur IP with a semi-active laser targeting capability. The SAL seeker will allow the shell to attack moving targets, targets that have repositioned after firing, and change the impact point to avoid collateral damage. Excalibur N5, version of the Excalibur S downsized into a 127mm shell to give naval guns mounted on destroyers and cruisers the ability to fire extended range guided projectiles. It may include a dual mode seeker for fire and forget operations. Increment 2 smart projectile for moving and time sensitive targets. May carry either 65 DPICM or 2 Saddam submunitions. Increment 3 Discriminating Projectile to Search, Detect, and Selectively Engage Individual Vehicles by Distinguishing Specific Target Characteristics. History Excalibur started as a development program in 1992. The Operational Requirements Document of May 1997 called for 200,000 rounds of an unguided munition with increased range at an estimated cost of $4,000 per round and Texas Instruments was awarded the initial EMT contract on January 23, 1998. In November 2001 the volume was cut to 76,677 rounds and soon after this was further reduced to 61,483, but the developers were encouraged by the Indian experience of using Russian Krasnopol guided shells against Pakistani bunkers in the Kharjil War of 1999. In March 2004 the program was merged with a Swedish-US program to create trajectory-correctable munitions, 
reflected in a new ORD in September 2004 which removed the dual-purpose improved conventional munition cluster bomb variant in favor of the discriminating munition variant. Later that year the U.S. Army reduced its planned order to 30,000 rounds. Low-rate production of 500 rounds was approved in May 2005 and Raytheon was awarded a contract to produce 165 rounds in June 2005, worth $22.1 million. In September of that year, the round was successfully demonstrated at Yuma Proving Ground, Arizona. Raytheon was awarded a $42.7 million contract for production of 335 Excalibur projectiles and related test articles and services in June 2006 for that fiscal year. In August 2006, technical problems relating to environmental sensitivity and GPS signal lock were discovered, pushing the expected in-service date to spring 2007. Testing in September demonstrated an actual average CEP of 5M or better. Increment Year 1 completed testing in early 2007 and in April that year the U.S. Army approved an urgent material release to allow deployment to Iraq. The Excalibur was first operationally fired in Iraq in May 2007. Increment Year 2 achieved a 40 km range in a live fire demonstration in April 2007 and in July the Army Acquisition Executive approved the Milestone C decision for Year 2 to enter low-rate production. In September 2008 both Raytheon and Alliant Tech Systems were awarded competitive development contracts for increment of mass production, but Raytheon secured the final manufacturing contract in August 2010. Test firings of increment year 1 rounds in March 2009 revealed that the Honeywell inertial measurement unit was not up to standard, and it was replaced by a unit from Atlantic Inertial Systems. In April 2010 the U.S. Army's planned order was cut further from 30,000 rounds to 6,264, which increased the unit cost sufficiently that it triggered an investigation under the Nunn Eura McCurdy Amendment. Normally a Nunn McCurdy breach signals a program in trouble, but a 2012 RAND report concluded that the unit cost increases were caused by the cuts in procurement numbers, fewer shells were needed for the same effect, due to the improved accuracy of modern artillery. The munition was developed with 55.1 million US dollars in financial assistance from Sweden, which expected to receive service rounds in 2010. The Australian Army ordered 40 million US dollars of Excalibur rounds in October 2007, an order revised in April 2008 to an estimated 58 million US dollars. In 2008, the unit cost was 85,000 US dollars. In FY 2013 the U.S. Army would request 2287 increment of rounds at a cost of $122.629 million U.S. dollars, or $53,620 U.S. dollars per unit, but some of this funding may have been denied. In February 2012, a U.S. Marine Corps M777 howitzer in Helmand Province, Afghanistan, was used to fire a single Excalibur round that killed a group of insurgents at a marine record range of 36 kilometers. In December 2012, Raytheon received a $56.6 .6 million contract for low-rate initial production of Excalibur projectiles. On September 10, 2013, Raytheon received a $54 million contract for a second lot of Excalibur artillery rounds. The Excalibur has improved reliability and lower unit cost than the previous Excalibur Year 1 and Year 2. At the time of the award, over 690 Excalibur projectiles had been fired in theatre. In February 2014, the U.S. Army and Raytheon fired 30 Excalibur shells at test targets to confirm the performance and reliability of the configuration before full rate production. Projectiles were fired from Paladin and M777 howitzers at ranges from 7 to 38 kilometers. Each shell hit within an average of 1.6 meters from the target. One Excalibur projectile can accurately hit an intended target that would require the use of between 10 to 50 unguided artillery rounds. On April 3, 2014, the last Excalibur ear projectile was assembled, signaling the transition to incremented focus. Over 6,500 ear shells were delivered to the U.S. Army and Marine Corps as well as several international customers. Initial operational test and evaluation for the Excalibur was completed in May 2014, 
moving the projectile closer to full rate production. Testing of the Excalibur above reached a missed distance of less than 2 m. On July 31, 2014, Raytheon received a $52 million contract to begin full rate production of the Excalibur shell. In June 2014, Raytheon successfully test fired its Excalibur S shell with a dual mode GPS cell guidance system. The variant incorporates a laser spot tracker into the Excalibur shell. The test was to validate the LST's ability to survive being fired from a howitzer and was initialized with GPS coordinates, then a laser designator guided the round to the target. Operators equals Current operators equals Canada, Sweden, United States Army and Marine Corps Germany, Netherlands Royal Netherlands Army equals Future or Pending Operators equals Australia Euro Pending FMS Request Norway are Euro pending FMS request. See also M712 Copperhead, XM1156 Precision Guidance Kit, XM395 Precision Guided Mortar Munition, Krasnopol, Otabrida Belsano. References Jane's Ammunition Handbook 2003 Euro 2004. Further reading 2012 Rand Report goes into detail on the progress of the project. External links Excalibur Precision Guided Extended Range Artillery Projectile a Euro Raytheon, Excalibur a Euro BAE Systems Bifors, Excalibur XM982 a Euro Defense Update, Video of Excalibur Test a Euro Metecafe, Missile Systems, Precision Guided Projectiles a Euro Raytheon, Excalibur Round used for the first time in Afghanistan.